Hey, Jules Bless Vegan! And, uh, I'm still struggling with my cold, but that's okay, because I still have a message I want to give. And I was thinking, you know, our struggle is unique to us. So each individual has their own threshold for pain and their own level of tolerance for things. And it's very difficult for me because um, I came from one of those families that said, I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> and it was like, I'm already crying. So I've probably deemed it worthy of tears. But thank you for giving me something else to cry about. You know, so whenever I'm hurting, like I am right now with this cold and the insaneness in my head and face and everything, I start talking myself out of it. You know, there, there's always worse. Who's ever been comforted by knowing that something's worse for someone else? That would be nobody. <laughs> How many kids were able to suddenly eat their whole meal because their mom said kids were starving in China? Yeah, probably very few. It is the same thing. It's like, we all have our stuff. Like right now in California, it is pouring rain, even in the high desert. And nowhere in California is ever prepared for that amount of rain because we just don't get it, right? And so, hold on, I have to pause one sec. Okay, so we just have a ton of rain. And because of all of the horrific fires that we had this year, there's mudslides and it's a mess. But the difference is it's 60 degrees outside. And I think the least is about like... 54. <laughs> so needless to say, people in the, is it called polar vortex? The freezing places of Minnesota and everything else, Chicago, um, have their own challenges, right? I mean, we have too much rain, too much mud. They have freezing temperatures and um, the insanity that goes with that. So we all have our own challenges and that's okay. And I think we have a right to sit with that. Yes, have compassion for others. Yes, offer it up in prayer for sure. But let it be okay. Whatever your feelings are, it goes back to that video I had on feelings aren't right or wrong. They just are. You know, it's pretty interesting. I'll have a student just clobber another kid. And when that kid comes up crying, the kid who hit them will be saying, that did hurt. That didn't hurt you. I barely hit you. And I'm like, wow. You are not in their body. You do not know how much that hurt them or not. You just delivered the blow. Well, so what? It didn't hurt him because I know I barely hit him. So I'm like, really? Okay. Well, let me barely hit you. Let's see how that plays out. No. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's illegal for one. But please don't tell people whether something hurt them or not. They know their threshold for pain. I was so proud of one of my sisters um, because... When she was pregnant and had morning sickness, she literally broke ribs. She uh, was vomiting so hard. And she was very brave through the whole thing. And her threshold was probably like an 8 to 10, honestly. She pushed through the whole thing. Hold on one second. And when I say hold on, it's because I have to blow my nose really quick. I want to make this video, though. Anyway, so one of my nieces is pregnant now, one of her daughters. And her threshold is probably a 4. <laughs> like, like... Her tiny little bit of ailments and vomiting isn't breaking ribs, isn't coming close to breaking ribs, but for her, a four is too much. And so my sister had the grace to go and help care for her firstborn and support her um, during her first, you know, couple of months of pregnancy. And she never shamed her. She never said, well, you think your pain hurts? What about me? You know, like the old, we had to walk through snow barefoot, you know, 10 miles uphill to get to school. <laughs> it never helps. It never helps. If people felt affirmed, if they felt that someone was sitting with them in their challenge, in their pain, in their sorrow, in their whatever, they would let it go so much quicker. But a lot of people are just holding on so tight because they want to be affirmed. Pausing. Okay, so this is how insane my experience was. I remember at one point, we were literally, literally having a competition to see who wouldn't cry when my father whipped us with a leather belt. And um, I don't know. <laughs> it, it was a competition among the children, but in some ways that uh, defiance and ability to push through and not show that carried me during parts of my life. I gotta think about that. I don't know. It's it's just weird. This is a weird experience. Walking on the planet is a weird experience. 
<laughs> I welcome it, but it's weird, right? Huh. I have been a stubborn cuss so many times in my life. Oh my goodness. I spent all of sixth grade out by the wall. The teacher would leave me out there for hours at a time and forget all about me. My seventh grade teacher, I think she was suicidal over me because I just refused to give in to any emotion request. She tried so hard to break me, which is probably what happened with that principal that just punished me for nine years. She was trying to break me. She just couldn't. Even when it came down to the whole thing, and she'd say, I'm your administrator. Do you get that? You're being insubordinate. And then I'd say, you know what? I answer to God, but do what you need to do. I'll take my consequence. <laughs> I'd go in the office and she'd say, I talked to five other principals about you. And they said, and I'm like, wow. You talked to five principals about me? Wow. Anyway, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that, you know, that your threshold for pain, your threshold for tolerance is your own. And it's okay. It's okay. And I'm saying that to myself because I'm in a ton of pain. I want to perform uh, for my husband and, and my, you know, four-legged kids right now. But I have homework, and I'm like, you know what? It's still Saturday. Let it go. It's still Saturday. Breathe. Go be sick. Hurt if you need to. And uh, know that life will continue to, the world will still evolve, right? All right. All right, peeps, as always, thank you so much for listening. Like if you like. Join us if you haven't. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Do you accept your own threshold for tolerance and pain? Or do you try and block it like me? <sighs> Until we talk again, wherever you are, stay safe. And I'm going to try and stay dry, even though my sliding glass door is flooding. And uh, the dog door is flooding. But God has a plan, and I'm on the case. Love you. And until we talk again, are you kidding me? Be blessed.